Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, let's begin. Hope feeling good. Can we start if you are comfortable here in Varasana, so um, kneeling here with your hips on your heels. If not, then you can just sit cross-legged. Okay, so don't worry. Rest your hands on your thighs. Do any last little wriggles, make yourself comfortable. And then take a big breath in through your nose. And open breath, exhale, let it all go. Try that two more times, big breath in. Open breath, exhale, let it go. Last time. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. We're going to start with some alternate nostril breathing just to help balance us after uh, your week, bringing you into the weekend. I'm sure most of you have done this with me before. You take your right hand and press the first two fingers into the center of the forehead and then use your thumb and your fourth finger to alternate uh, breathing through each nostril. So block off your right nostril and inhale through the left. Then block off the left nostril with the fourth finger and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right nostril. Locking off the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Block off the left and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Lock off the right and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Lock off the left and exhale through the right. Inhale, right nostril. Block off right and exhale left. Release in the hand, breathe in through both nostrils. As open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just breathe in and out through your nose. And just notice if anything's changed, if you feel any different. Maybe you notice one side was blocked, the other side was free. And just seeing if you've managed to balance things out a little bit. If you've got your eyes closed, just keeping them closed and rubbing the hands together as fast as you can. So you're creating a nice little bit of heat in your hands. And then placing the hands over your eyes so you've got that nice warmth sinking into your eyes. And you're blocking out the light, shielding out the light. And keeping your eyes closed. Can you stare into the, the dark space behind your eyelids? Closing off the sense of sight. Allowing you to really turn inwards.
And then slowly start to wipe the eyes and wipe the face awake. Good. And sinking into your child's pose. So just reaching your arms out in front and letting yourself settle over your legs, your forehead down towards the floor. So you can keep, you can close the eyes again if you like so that you can really drop into how your hips feel, how your legs feel, how your feet feel today. And starting to deepen the breaths again. Okay, so that as you breathe in, maybe you can feel there's a stretch in your lower back. And as you breathe out, allowing yourself to sink further over your legs, get deeper into your hips. Walking your hands over towards the right side. Reach the left fingers further than the right hand if you can. And as you breathe in, feel the, the stretch in the left side of your body. So imagine your left lung expanding into the left rib cage. All the muscles in between the, the ribs, getting that nice space as well. Bringing the hands back to the center. Walk all the way over to the other side. And then try and reach your right fingers further than your left fingers. And with your head dropped in between your arms, with the breath in, can you feel the stretch there in the right side? Trying to free up your body, ready for your weekend. Bringing the hands back to the center, walking your way back up to seated. And just roll onto your left shin and pick your right foot up. Press the foot flat on the floor. If you need to sit on a block here, you can. Okay, but reach your right arm up to the sky and then forwards. And we're going to take the arm around the knee. Yeah, so it goes in front of your knee. Rotate the shoulder and bring the hand around the back there. Okay, left fingers are going to reach forwards. And now I'll take them behind the back. See if you can catch hold of the fingers. It doesn't matter if not, you can just kind of reach for them or maybe you've got a strap. Okay, but as you breathe in, try and lift your chest up. And as you breathe out, try and pull the left shoulder back. Pressing down through your right foot. And so into your first bind. And again, use a strap or if you can't reach the hands, just reach towards each hand. Right, and then release. Leaning back onto your left leg, put your right foot, uh, right shin back, and then pick your left foot up. That's it. Left fingers up to the sky, and then you can lean forward. So you're going inside the left leg. Start to rotate your shoulder, rotate the arm in the shoulder, and then let the hand go to the, the back. Right fingers forwards, and then we can take them behind us as well. Maybe you catch fingers, maybe not. Okay, so wherever you are, try and breathe in, lift the chest up using that strap if you want to, and breathe out. Try and spin the right shoulder back, getting a double whammy here. Nice opening in that left hip while we're opening up the right shoulder. Should be getting something in that left shoulder as well. Excellent guys, well done, release. Lean back into your right leg and put your left leg back. And again, sit cross-legged if, uh, if you need to. Have you got a block? Yeah, catch hold of a block if you've got one handy. Don't worry if not, okay? No, no worries if you've not got one. Take the block in your hands like this. That's it, have the elbow, elbow at 90 degrees. Or you've just got your hands like this without the block. And from there, you're going to push your elbows forwards, lift your shoulders up to your ears, draw the shoulders back, and then let them drop down. Shoulders forwards, lift shoulders up, draw them back, and down. Try that a few times. Forwards, up, back, down. Forwards, up, back, down. Now try and press into the block a little bit more with the hands. 
So everything is getting an awakening here. Forwards, up, back, down. That's it, a few more times. Try taking it the other way. Forwards, back, just before the shoulders get too tired. Yeah, it's a great way to warm them all up. All those little muscles around the shoulders. <laughs> Good. Nice. All right, release the block down. Shake out the shoulders. And now take your arms up to the sky. Okay, and you're going to start to pulse the fingers into the palms of the hands. Close your eyes and see how fast you can make your hands go. Yeah, so how fast can you squeeze the fingertips towards the, the palms and open the hands again? Opening and closing. Close your eyes, let your shoulders drop down. And notice if they start to creep up and let them draw down. Keep it going for 10, 9, 8, try and get those fingers to go faster. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it up. My fingers started to not be my own then for a minute. Last thing, so with the block, we're going to take, or without the block, it's fine as well. Reach the arms forwards and press the hands into the block. So you can feel your biceps firing as you press your hands into the block. Reach the fing uh, fingers forwards, lift the shoulders up, and draw them back. Then down, forwards, up, back, down. Keep pressing the hands into the block or that imaginary block. Keep isolating the shoulders. That's it. Try taking it the other way. A few more times. Last one. Good. Lift the arms up. And then bend the arms at the elbows and keep pressing your block. Push the head back. Lift the chest up. Keep pressing the block, inhale into your chest. Exhale, and all of this can be done cross-legged. Okay, guys? Good, well done. Releasing the block, pop it to one side, we'll come back to it. And then onto all fours. A little rock forwards and back just to bring movement now into, into your body. Hopefully all your upper body's feeling nice and warm now. Bring it into some cat cows. Let your belly drop. Lift the head and chest up. Exhale, tucking the tail, rounding your back, chin to chest. Okay. And just enjoy the movement. Do it in your own time. The breath in to drop the belly down and the breath out to push the mat away, rounding the back. Then you could even close your eyes and just see how your body feels today. You're not really worrying about if you're doing it right or not. Just enjoying how it feels. Try maybe two or three more times. Notice where there feels some stickiness or tightness. We could say this uh, cat hair is like flossing your body. Getting all the blood pumping, all the oxygen moving around your body. Getting everything ready. Okay, last time. Then coming back to neutral, tuck your toes under, push your hips into your heels, hands into the floor, knees off the floor, and then press through the feet to grow into your down dog. And you might want to bend and straighten a few times here. Just to feel the legs wake up now. Nice guys, well done. From here, come up high onto your toes and make sure your feet are wide. And then roll yourself forwards into your plank pose. Okay, we're gonna do that a few times, going forwards and back. Rolling forwards and back. And movement is just such a great way to get into your whole body. Rolling through the spine to plank and then taking it back. And you can stop anytime. 
Rest anytime. Next time you come into plank, hold it there. And then lower the knees to the floor. Release your feet. Elbows brush the ribcage and you lower all the way down. Inhale, lift the shoulders up and back and stretch the front of your body. I want to take it back into your downward facing dog. All right, so the challenge has been this week to keep your feet wide in your down dog. And keeping them wide, lift your right leg up to the sky and try and not put all the weight into your right hand. Try and disperse it into your left hand as well. As that feels through your left leg. Bring your right knee into your nose. Pop your foot there inside the hands. And then we're going to lower the left knee to the floor. Does that feel all right there? In the left thigh, left hip. Catch hold of your block if you've got one. Doesn't matter if not. Push your hands into the block. Lift the arms up and then let the block uh, go behind your head. So you might just bend your arms here without the block. But squeeze the elbows in towards each other. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, try and lean back. Yeah, so the head doesn't touch the block. Your upper body just leans back. All right, bringing it back to the center. Catch hold of the block now if you're using one so that it's flat. And we twist towards the right. Press your palms together. Breathe in, push your block together. And as you breathe out, look down, tuck your back toes and we'll lift the back knee up off the floor. Yeah, and hopefully that feels all right there. And you've got a little bit more space to twist. Looking down, pop the block there onto the floor. Hands come down. I want you to play with straightening your right leg. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't straighten completely. You could use your block to give you a bit more space. Yeah, it's not a traditional pyramid pose. This is just a nice stretch. Good. You're going to bend into your right leg and then step your left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the head and chest up. Feel your belly on your thighs. And then exhale, fold it forwards. You want to keep a bend in your knees there. Think about your spine now. We're going to ripple through your spine. So chin to chest as you roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. We've been playing with this this week. So arching your back and lowering down. Tummy, chest and head. Do that a few times. So rolling your way up, chin to chest. And then arching your back and lowering your way down. Two more times. Inhale, roll your way up. Push the feet into the floor. And then rolling back down. Last one. Chin to chest to roll your way up. And then exhale, rolling down. Hands to the floor. Inhale, lift your head and chest up. And then exhale, plant the hands. Now you can jump back or step your feet back into your plank. Yeah, drop your knees if you need, or elbows brush the root cage as you lower down. Come into your cobra, your upward dog, feel your feet wide, and then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out, push them that way, and see if those hips can get a, a little bit higher. You imagine your muscles like plaster seam, and <laughs> you stretching them. So keeping your feet wide, lift your left leg to the sky and notice all the weight goes into that left hand. Try and bring it into the right hand as well. Bring your left knee into your nose and pop your foot there inside the hands, however you get it. And then lower your right knee to the floor. Feels a little bit tight there for me, a little bit stiff. Catch hold of the block if you've got one. Have it long ways, press the palms into the block, lift your arms up and let the hands fall behind your head. Yeah, it's so nice this one in the chest, so such a great way to get that extra little stretch. So push your hands into the block, breathe in, lift the chest up, squeeze your elbows in towards your ears. One more breath. And then bringing it back. Okay, press your palms together so the block is flat now, and then twist. Right arm onto the outside of the left leg now. 
Yeah. Now you're trying to push the left hand into the right hand to bring your chest higher towards the, the block or towards your hands. Inhaling. And as you exhale, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee. Think about getting longer rather than taller. One more breath. And looking down, we can put the block on one side. And you could use that block if you needed to, to straighten the front leg. Again, it doesn't need to be straight completely. Just see until you can feel a stretch in this left hamstring. Yeah? Inhale. And exhale. Remember the, the breath is your accompaniment, your, your partner for the practice. It's you and your breath. You're going to step into your left foot and then bring your right foot to the top of the mat. Breathe in, lift your head and chest up. Breathe out and fold forward. Sink belly up towards your rib cage as you fold forwards. And feel your rib cage on your back, on your thighs. Start to roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. And enjoy this rippling. I know it's not a normal movement. See if you can manage it. Tailbone up, belly drops, let the head fall, and then roll your way back up. Find that mobility through your spine. So they say that dance like no one's watching, so ripple like this as if no one's watching, because no one is watching. Last one, that you are exploring space in your body. Once the hands touch the floor, breathe in, lift the head and chest up. And then breathe out, pull out the hands. You could jump back or step back. Vinyasa, dropping your knees if you like. Lifting your head and chest up, upward dog. Have your feet wide here. And then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Feet wide again, yeah, big breath in. Open mouth and exhale, let it go. Nice guys, keep your feet wide. Now as you sweep your right leg up, can you try and put a little bit more weight into that left hand? Can the leg go a little bit higher now? Bring your right knee into your nose, pop your foot inside the right hand. Come up high lunge, lift your arms up. Good. Lovely, drop the back heel, 45, and then come into warrior two. So nice and easy for this first one, flip the front palm, reach it forward, take it back. Just explore the side of your body here. And then windmill, right hand comes down, big circle, left arm up and overhead. Plant the hands down, front foot to the back. Your vinyasa. Now you can skip this bit. You can make it harder by doing a double chaturanga. Or you can make it easier by dropping the knees. Feet are wide. As you breathe in, let the left leg lift to the sky and try and have weight in your right hand as well. And can that left leg go a little bit higher now? Bring the knee into the nose, pop your foot inside the hands. Okay, and that lovely hot forward flow, lifting your arms up, coming into your high lunge. And then dropping the back heel, opening up warrior two. Again, okay, we know we need to step this left foot towards the right side. Flip the front palm, reach it forwards, and then lean it back. We'll breathe into this left side. And the left hand comes down, big circle with your right arm up and over your head. Plant your hand, and then let your left foot move to the back. Okay, so add on if you want. Do a double chaturanga, pushing down and then back up. And then go for it. Or you're dropping your knees. Okay, but meet me in a downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth and exhale, let it go. Have a look at your feet, are they wide? Yeah. All right, this time, keeping your feet wide, lift your right leg up. Can you put more weight in that left hand there? It's again, it'll be easier. Could you even come onto the fingertips of the right hand? 
Yeah. Lower that right palm back down, bring your right knee in. Pop your foot inside the hands. Now if you're using a block, catch hold of it now. Have it, it's long way, so the hands either side of the block there. Inhale, lift the arms up, press the block with your hands. Good. Drop the back heel 45 and walk your front foot towards the left. If you haven't got a block, just press your hands together. Inhale. Good. As you exhale, start to lean towards the back and you're pushing your bottom hand into the top hand or the bottom hand into the block, top hand into the block. Keep that strong and then lay over your front leg. Same thing. Bottom hand into the top hand, top hand to the bottom or into the block. Good. Coming back to the center, release the block down, right hand goes there. And then left arm up and over your head. Good. And then let's pick your back heel up. And then front foot can move to the back. Add on, double chaturanga if you want, or drop your knees. Meet me in a downward facing dog. Feet wide. Yeah, make sure your feet are wide. Is there a little bit of fire? In your body's now, yeah, how is it feeling? Let's keep it moving. Okay, so lift your left leg up, press down into your right hand as well as your left. You can test that by trying to come onto the fingertips of the left hand. Lower the left palm down, bring the left knee in, slot the foot inside the hands. Same thing, catch hold of your block or not. Yeah, push your hands together if you've not got a block. Lift the arms up. Good, guys. Keep pressing the block and then we'll drop the back heel. Walk your left foot towards the right. Sit down into the shape. Breathe in to get taller and breathe out to lean towards the back. Bottom hand pressing into the top hand. Coming back to the center, lean over the front leg. Bottom hand pushing into the top hand, breathing into any sensations, enjoying them, welcoming them, even if they're tough. Coming back to the center, take the block all the way down, left hand down, right hand follows, front foot to the back. Now you could add on with your knees dropped as well. So if you wanted to drop your knees and then do your double chaturanga like that. <laughs> oh, you're, you're already there in down dog and that's cool. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in, how are we feeling? Open mouth and exhale, let it all go. Energy starting to rise. Awesome guys, all right. Try that again. So, right leg to the sky. This time, can you bend the knee and open the hip? Good. Could you come onto your right fingertips just as an option? Bring your right knee into your nose, lock your foot inside the hands. Catch hold of your block if you're using it. Lift your arms up, press your palms into the block. Drop the back heel, walk your front foot forwards, warrior two. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lean to the back. Inhale to come up and exhale to lean over the front leg. Good. Inhale to come up and now exhale right hand or block down onto inside that right foot if you're using it, if you're using a block. And then left fingers behind your back. Good. Now try and draw the top shoulder back. This is your second bind of the day. Okay, now you can have your right hand on the block or on the floor, you can have your forearm on the thigh, or take your right hand through the hole in the leg and catch hold of the fingers and draw that top shoulder back. Breathe in now, try and bring your right rib cage forwards more. Yeah, that's it, and then try and turn your chin up towards the top shoulder. Breathe into it. Breathe out. So nice guys, release hands either side, front foot. That looks great from here. 
Walk your front foot over to the right, front foot to the back. Now challenge yourself or not. Drop your knees, double chaturanga, or keep the knees lifted, double chaturanga, or downward dog. You choose how your practice is today. What do you need? Inhale. Exhale. Good guys, keep your feet wide. Let's go for the left side, left leg up. Bend the knee and open the hip. Can you come up onto the fingertips of the left hand? And then bring your left knee into your nose, lock your foot inside the hands. Keep moving, catch hold of the block. If you're using it, lift the arms up. This is just as good without the block. Drop the back heel 45. Walk your front foot to the right. Inhale, lift taller. Exhale, fall to the back. Inhale, lift taller, come back center, and then fall to the front. Inhale, we'll come back up, and then pop the block inside the left foot. If it's not, if you haven't got a block, left hand on the floor, or left forearm on the thigh, right fingers to the sky. Then take the right hand behind your back. That's it, and this might be enough for you right here. If you want to try though, take your left hand inside the leg, and we're going to see if we can catch hold of the, of the hand. And then a way to think about your left rib cage and just see if you can draw the left rib cage towards the right. Spinning the right shoulder open. Breathe in, legs pressing towards each other, feet drawing towards each other. How much longer do you want to stay in this pose? <laughs> when you're ready, release. Hands either like side, front foot. Good, good. Well then walk your left foot over and left foot to the back of the mat. Double chaturanga, no chaturanga. What kind of practice are you after today? Meet me down with facing dog. Awesome guys, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Could you try and get more length in your lower back? by pushing your mat away with the hands. Bending your knees, maybe even wiggling the hips a little bit. Bend your knees more now and look forwards. So on your exhale, you're gonna jump your feet inside the hands. How lightly can you go? <laughs> so inhale, lift the head and chest up. And then exhale and fold, fold. Relax. You, know, you have your knees bent if you don't feel your belly on your thighs. Yeah, protect your backs a little bit. Cool. Start to roll your way up. First thing to come up is the head. Now, let's see if we've got a bit of space in our shoulders. So step your feet a little bit wider, so hip distance. You're going to bend your knees, take your hands on your thighs and then just fold forwards. Okay, now reach your right hand forwards. And you're gonna slide your right arm in between your legs and take the hand and the shoulder just outside the leg. Yeah, so the hand goes through the center. And you try and wrap your right shoulder around the leg and then bring the back of the hand to the side of your right thigh. Yeah. And that might be enough for you. That might be as far as you go. If you wanted to, you could have a strap in your left hand and swing the strap up and around your back until you catch hold of the other hand, either with your hands or with the strap. Both knees are bent. Relax your head. That's it, Katia. Good. Nice. Good. Good with the strap there, Tom. Good. Nice. <laughs> Could you, just as an option, play with trying to straighten both legs? Yes, and as you straighten both legs, the head hangs heavy. There's a big stretch on your shoulders there. Breathe in. 
Can you wrap that left shoulder up and around? And then breathe out, release the hands and start to roll your way up last thing to come up as the head. Good, that's it. It's a very important pose in life, that one. You never know when you might need to whack that one out. So it's good if you can do it. Bend your knees, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't know when you might need this pose. But reach your left fingers forwards. And then take your left arm through the leg. It's definitely a fun one to do. And we take the left palm to face up and feel the back of the left hand on the thigh. Okay, so bend your knees more if you need to. And this might be where you stay. This might be enough here. Or reach your right hand forwards and then around your back. And I, I, I would really like you to just see if you could keep your knees bent for a moment and work on opening up your right shoulder. And then only if it feels all right on your shoulder and on your hamstrings, try and straighten the leg. And that left leg won't straighten completely because the arm's in the way. Yeah. Nice. Good. Hold it there. Good. Nice. That looks good, Kate. Oh, when you're ready, release. Excellent, let's start to roll your way up. Last thing to come up is there. Cool, take the hands behind you, counter pose the forward fold. Thighs forwards, hips forwards, lean your upper body back. And then lift yourself up and over to hinge from the hips. Good, releasing the hands, breathe in, draw your head and chest forwards. And then breathe out, plant the hands, jump, step, float your feet back, plank, plank. And last vinyasa, elbows rush the rib cage, lift your head and chest up. And we'll take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathe in, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice guys. All right, last little thing for your legs. Feet to wide, lift your right leg up. Come up onto the fingertips of the right hand. Could you try and hold your right fingers off the floor just for a little play? <laughs> and then bring your right knee into your nose, doesn't matter if that didn't happen. <laughs> Pop the foot inside the hands. Okay, lower your left knee to the floor. Release the left toes. A little bit into that hamstring. Push back onto your left knee, right toes up. So now I know that some of you will be happy right here. But because we might want to do the can can later tonight, <laughs> could you slide your right leg forwards and make your way into your version of splits? Now it might be that you keep those back toes tucked under and keep the knee off the floor, or maybe you get all the way down. Breathe in wherever you are. Smile through the pain. No, it's not pain. It's discomfort. A little bit of discomfort. Good. And when you're ready, push down through the hands. Bring your right leg all the way back up. Let's go three leg dog. Heel into bottom, open up the hip. Just for fun, come onto your left fingertips. And then reach your left hand back. Try and find your right foot. Just for fun. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you catch it or not. It's good if you fall and you have a good laugh about it. All is good. Release left hand down, right leg down. Scale of from one to ten, how much fun was that? <laughs> left leg up to the sky. See so if you can come onto your left fingertips. Maybe hover your left hand off the floor for a moment, just a little moment. Always challenging our stability. And then bring your left knee into your nose, slot your foot inside the hands. Okay, lower your right knee down, well done guys. Come back onto your right knee, draw your left toes up. That's it, and I, as, like before, some of you might be happy here. Or you come onto your fists. And you're sliding your left leg forward, but you're not taking your left hip with you. 
keeping your left hip there. Yeah. Maybe you tuck your back toes and keep the back knee off the floor. That's enough for you there. Now maybe you come into the, into the pose a little bit deeper. Okay, wherever you are, you breathe. Let the body know that everything is okay by keeping the breath calm, slow and steady. Out there, guys. And then from here, palms flat, tuck your back toes. Bring your left leg all the way back in, heel to bottom. Open up the hip. Now do you feel okay to come onto the right fingertips? And then for fun, especially if you fall, that's a good opportunity to have a good laugh at yourself. Or maybe I'll fall, you can have a good laugh at me. Breathe in. And breathe out. Releasing that and lowering the left knee, leg down. Good, maybe you're already down, that's cool. Lower your knees, untuck your toes, knees wide, and just let yourself relax in between your legs here. Forehead towards the floor. Big breath in, well done guys. And long breath out. Good. Before we settle, walk your hands back towards your knees and then bring your knees together. Okay, come up onto your knees. Now, I am, some of you won't be on carpet, so maybe hold up your mat to rest your knees on. Come up to standing on your knees. Tuck your toes under. Breathe in, lift your arms up. And then breathe out. Bring your right hand to your heel, thumb on the inside, fingers on the outside. Now, if that's too far away, Bring both hands onto your lower back. Push the thighs forwards, push the chest up, keep your head in line with the spine. Option to just change arms or rotate the other, the left arm around so you press the other hand onto the heel. Yeah, or you just change arms one arm at a time. It's a journey, remember. So we're all on different parts of the journey. If there's no problems with your neck, you can let your head fall back. And then bring one arm up and the other arm up. Good, can to pose that with a child's pose. Oh, nice guys, we're going to walk your way back up and then just fall onto one side, take your legs all the way out in front. Mm -hmm. cool. Have your block handy if you've got one. Yeah. Press your feet flat. I hope you feel ready for bed again. <laughs> Reach your arms forwards and then start to lower the spine down vertebra by vertebra. Yeah. Good. Once you get there, walk your feet close to your bottom, palms flat on the floor. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly draws back. Push your feet and then lift the hips up. And if you have got a block, well, you can take a little moment just to chill out here, resting the block underneath your sacrum. Yeah, so it's the long way. You just feel the weight of the hip bones pressing into the block. You know, and if not, if you haven't got a block, you could use a pillow, folding up the pillow. Let's let your shoulders relax, let you relax, let your chest relax, let your face relax. Let all the muscles relax. Breathing in. And breathing out. Some of you guys might feel okay to extend both legs to the corners of the mat. And you, you could always turn the block on its lower edge if it doesn't feel comfortable. If you did the psoas workshop, then just imagine now the hip bones drawing outwards and that all important psoas muscle from attached from the lower, the lumbar spine down into the front of the hips. Imagine that nice stretch that it's getting.
If there are any other last poses that you'd really like to get in, then go for it now. And if you're ready to chill, then you can bend your knees, have your, your feet flat, and lift the hips up. Take the block to one side, if you used one, and then lower the spine down nice and slow. Okay, so you can bring soles of the feet together, knees open, it's always my favorite place to go. But if you're done and you just want to completely relax your body, slide the feet to the corners of the mat. Like we did at the beginning, relax your face. Let the air travel in and out through your nose as you breathe. Stillness after the practice, so important. Every muscle soft. Letting thoughts come and go. Being here. And if you have got time to stay there a little bit longer, then stay there or finish any last poses that you want to do. Or you can begin to breathe a little bit deeper. Start to move toes and move fingers. Now make a big yawn, reaching your arms above the head. Do that with a big full body stretch there. We'll roll over on the right hand side into a fetal shape. And try and keep your eyes closed as you come up to seated to face the front. Or face your camera. Mm -hmm. Palms together, thumbs into your chest bone. Big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Thank you for joining me this morning. Namaste. I hope, you'll, I hope you feel strong. I can't wait to see you guys in real life. I've got a real yearning to just get back into the studio now and see what you're doing. But um, I hope you're well and 